Hello, uh, and yeah, welcome to uh, a new series. I think we're just gonna get started. We are gonna make a mini game. Uh, first off, I gotta say you need to have quite the experience with Java. I say quite, but you know a little. Do you know the uh, ray list and hash map, the difference and how to get different stuff, loops and basic shit. We're gonna use a lot of basics in in this mini game. Uh, I made this mini game. I tried to do it. Half a year ago, this is the second time I'm saying this, but because the recording messed up. But uh, half a year ago, um, and you know, I was following this series, and you know, the man is great, he's really good at plugins, but he didn't test the plugins. So, the rule we have today, we will test the plugin after every episode or every code we're doing. Uh, let me just change so my Steam is. Uh, line. There we go. Um, so we're just gonna start ahead. We're gonna use Java 8 and speak at 1.9. And yes, I know Combat's uh, not for uh, 1.9. It's not on our side. But there's workarounds for the Combat um, recharge. Let's call it cooldown, uh, which I found on Google quite fast there was like two days uh, or one uh, the day after or two days after one point i came out that's big it so that's great um so i got that snippet of code code snippet uh and i tried it and it works it worked with my survival games plugin so it's gonna work with our the walls plugin we're gonna use it as boolean in a config so they can choose if they want to cool down or not mostly not uh, we're gonna make the walls uh, with Java 1.8 because 1.8 is awesome. Um, we should actually re-export it with 1.7 at some point. But we are gonna first import. I recommend you run build tools. Uh, but I'm gonna go into my build path and choose speaker 1.9 there. And uh, okay, I, I'm probably gonna have to close my door. We will use Bungie Core, but we won't need to import it to use that. Um, uh, we will make uh, in another series, I will uh, show you how to make or how to change. No, actually not because I didn't write this book and I just rewrote it because there was a bunch of mistakes in it. So I might give out this one uh, with an enhanced version. So you can't join if uh, the server will be full with your group. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're just going to add spigot and go to build tools and add uh, bucket. Because we might need bucket later. We'll just check if I've added anything in here that does. The same. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, as I said, we're just going to start right off. I have to go uh, go close the door. <laughs> okay, I wasn't close the door, but you know, you know what I mean. Um... Lock the door because I don't want any interference when we code. This is gonna be a long day and long series, I think, because we're just gonna keep adding stuff and I'm gonna get suggestions from the comments and do that and yeah. Okay, I'm not a guru at Java, but I know one. I, I made survival games with the help of that guy. New Basta, here we go. We're gonna look at me being fabulous at coding. Uh, we're. I hope you know how to make a bucket plugin because else this, this series isn't for you. Go look at YouTube for some help because the one I made just didn't work for the most recent update and people got mad so I just put it down. I don't know why no other people. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, the walls. I like doing it without having capitals in it just because I don't know why. But all the classes have capitals in it. Just keep that um we're just gonna make a main class and we're gonna call it the walls or we can call it walls actually because i am i don't like typing so uh okay there we go it's a little slow i'd uh keep the override uh we're probably not gonna do on this table but we're gonna just put it in here just just to have it um instantly make 
okay, what do we want to do first? I think that what we want to do first is set up the configurations. So, uh, there's two options here, depending on how much you want. Uh, but I think we will have uh, one config and one data. Data. Yeah, um, and for that, we will use a settings manager made in the main class right here. Just type. Okay, you know what? I just want to do settings because I'm so tired of typing manager. Uh, and we are... I think we're just going to copy the this settings manager. I will give you this settings manager in the description because it's, I'm not typing it, so you won't have to. Do. So just change to settings, setting, settings, settings. You won't have to type everything that's here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give you that code in the description uh, because I'm cool like that. Sure, but stopped recording. Um, and yeah, there we go. We have the settings of YML. No, <laughs> settings uh, class. Uh, this just instantiates settings uh, manager, sort of, but I just type settings because I'm tired of typing settings manager. Um, so we create a file configuration config. If we do not initialize it, create the same for data and default. Um, for for config, I don't think we actually do anything, so that could possibly go away. Yeah, th this is not used. There we go. Why was that there? Okay, we won't need this config there because uh, we will need another. This will just be a public void configs. And in the main class, I have to think here. Um, so here. For this, we will need a public static file configuration, uh, config, then data, then do here you do the here, do config equals get config, you do data settings dot get dot get data, and in on enable. The configs for the configs you will need to do settings dot get instance dot set up this uh, which means you will get the instance of the settings I'm not sure exactly what this because I didn't write this uh, but I it's it's helped me a lot through the years okay through the months of coding through the weeks of coding fine um, uh, but simply just get the settings and executes this uh, right here. Don't even think you need to do all this yet, but you know. Uh, so it just sets up and runs this code right here. So it's um, if there's no plugin data folder, uh, I don't have an example, but you know the folder with the plugin name and then the configs and stuff. You probably know what that is. It will create that folder. Um, then we create a new file that's data.yml in that folder, and if that does not exist, it creates the file, or tries to create it, and if it cannot create, it throws an error. It should, um, should uh, not give an error because uh, it's it's just making a file. But you know, it's uh, it has to do this uh, unless if you remove this. Um, would give an error in the ID. So yeah, that's how this works. It's the save, just the same as the config. It's just you need all this to probably not to reload data, but yeah, maybe if you yeah okay. Uh, uh by the way, the the mini game will not be arena based. It will be like a dedicated plugin. That's the same with my survival games, but I will make an arena version of that in a short while. I got what the amount of asking for that. So now we'll set up the settings manager. We need to make a new file. Why is file there? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be there. <laughs> what am I doing? File, uh, plugin the I I just feel like doing this just now uh, before we uh, go any further. Remember this is the class, this is the package. Remember that this is like 
moving this part. This is an obvious mistake that many people do, but it's like that. Version, just put 1.0 for there for now, unless you want like a dev or 2.3, but this is the first version, so I just like doing that. I could just change it later, it doesn't matter. Earlier, there was a bug, you had to change this for the plugin to be updated, but that's fixed. Like, thank God for that. Uh, so, we don't have any commands, but we can already put in commands, uh, walls. Okay, the, okay, no, walls. Then, description. About the walls. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, so now we've set up the configs. Uh, we don't need the data, the what? Well, actually, we do. Data the one with her. We're just gonna put that in. Oh, actually put anything in it, but we uh config the YML is something we need. Config the YML. Uh here, as I said, we will put um old combat and we'll just copy it to true. Uh actually I want to do uh settings here. So, so we sort of just, yeah, you know, it's for keeping things tight, uh, as like, it's obvious that you choose yourself what to do, but for now this is fine. Um, on the, I, a thing that I found out was quite fun and, uh, interesting is, uh, making a command sender. Console command sender, uh, CMD. Uh, bucket dot get console sender, I think. Now you can do here. You can do cmd dot send message chat color dot yellow plus setting up uh, the walls plus uh this dot get bucket not get dot get version plus by plus this dot get description dot get oops dot to string uh, dot replace we will put this in so just thing see you on string dot Place dot change that to that, and there you have it. Uh, so now, when we run that, it should probably let's just format that. There we go. Um, should say setting up the walls by Griselda a uh, version uh, the one point zero by. Uh, super cell that. But for that to happen, we need to put another variable in here, and that's author. And you can just put your name. If you wanted multiple authors, you can do authors, and then have uh, like you know. Uh, but but we're gonna stick to one author because yeah, you know. It's just me. Uh, so I think that's enough for the first episode. We've explained a little how we're going to do things. And we've got a blackboard which we actually can use here. So we can draw. So I can show things down here later if that's uh, something. But yeah, for now we will just export this. Uh, I have to make a server in just a second here. Serve copy. Just gonna remove this. Is this set to lobby, isn't it? Yeah, lobby. So, and remove any plugins in there. And just save this there. Let's try. Save it there. I think that's one. Yeah, that's because we didn't update. 
But if you get that issue, it's often because you didn't do F5 or refresh because it needs to update the files here. Uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, just hit OK and enter, enter, enter again. So we named this prison by mistake. I want to call this walls. I have a tendency just to see. So we're just going to run this now. Loading libraries. And there we go. Setting up the walls 1.0. 1.0 by SuperZen. Uh, so that's actually the first thing that we've done. That's already f it's fancy as well. That's that's the um, cool things. So we have setting up. I'm going to do cmd to send message chat color dot green plus uh, creating slash updating configs. Ah, uh, it so uh, and cmd dot send message. No, actually we don't. We can do this. Uh, cmd dot send message chat color dot green plus the walls enabled. Oh, important uh, format. Remember, oh, Jesus. No. Remember that format uh, just makes things different. It doesn't actually matter which one just put in import, but I just like keeping the bucket. It's just uh, Control Shift F. Type this here. Control plus Shift plus F is equal format, and Control plus Shift O. Go to import, uh, and it also removes imports if you have any yellow ones here, so that's good. But it, yeah. uh, so now let's just run this one more time, make sure we get it good because we don't want that. Uh, we didn't check if it works, but there we go. Colors have to be quick. Uh, in plugins, you see the walls, and you can see data. Yeah, because I didn't do save default config. You probably were shouting at me. Sorry. Save default config there and we'll save the config for you. And I know it will, but you know, let's just run again. Here you will see a config that YML has been written with settings all come back true. So that's all. And if uh, if you get uh, an empty config the YML, that's because your uh, YAML uh, parsing is incorrect. Um, that could be various reasons. We can look at that in the later episodes slash parts. But this is it for now. 17 minutes. That's actually quite fine. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the first part. Uh, I will be coming out with the next part quite soon. Probably same day. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.